And good evening, everyone. Well, we made it. School is out, the summer is here, and business is slowly but surely returning. Shops enjoying the good weather, hoping for that summer boost. Tia Collins spoke with some and joins us live this afternoon at Charlotte Beach. Tia. Good afternoon, Jack. Well, there's lots of families and people here at Charlotte Beach. You can see behind me some of the gazebos are packed, and that's good news for businesses here in the area. I talked to some who are already experiencing a good weekend, and they're expecting an even greater weekend with the hot weather on the way, and that is going to help them recoup some of that money they may have lost during the pandemic. Lines were stretching out the door here at Windjammers on Lake Ave as the bar saw a huge crowd for the lunch rush. It's already started out to be a good solid summer, so it it's, feels good. With school over and most COVID restrictions gone, bars and restaurants by the lake are seeing an uptick in customers. I think everybody was excited just to go out to lunch and be down here. It was a similar scene at Shaler's Drive-In where a dinner rush kept cooks busy. Managers here say many travelers stop for a bite during summer road trips, and with travel picking up, so has business. Oh, traveling is hands down like one of our biggest customers. Like people are like off the plane. Like we had to come to Shaler's. I think the summer is going to be real good. All are uh, already like. We've just been crazy all day, every day. It's been great. The end of COVID restrictions is also changing what types of activities are open. Parkside Whispering Pines had to close for most of the pandemic because of the challenges with cleaning and social distancing. But today, families and groups came out for rounds of mini golf, giving the business a much needed boost. We obviously do have the diner where we can see people obviously for eating, but um, to be able to do that, uh, to do mini golf again and have like an outside activity is definitely going to help you hope. This weekend is also a free fishing weekend, and I talked to some bait and tackle shops who are very busy with orders. Just another business that is recuperating as we see these COVID restrictions lifting and as we head into our first summer out of the pandemic. Reporting at Charlotte Beach, Atia College, News 8.